The city of Panama City is hosting an open house to show off the future of the neighborhoods of Glenwood, Millville and St. Andrews. The designs come from residents who offered opinions during charrettes over the last few months. News 13's Anna Hoffman is live at Panama City City Hall now to tell us some of the city's plans and what citizens still think needs to be done. Hi, Anna. Amy, one of those open houses is going on inside City Hall right now, and people from all around have showed up eager to see the plans that the city has come up with. Each area of this open house focuses on one of the three neighborhoods on ways to increase business opportunity, infrastructure, and the overall quality of life. These visions for Glenwood, Millville, and St. Andrews stem from ideas brought up by residents, but the goal of the open house is to make sure everyone is heard. I haven't been able to get to my boat all summer because of the parking. And you start calculating that in your head with the number of cars, if they were coming from different directions, the number of cars just for that block of pontoon boat. This is the next step in the city's planning process to make sure they are using the best approach for the success of each city. Bill Glenwood and St. Andrews have so many unique charms and characteristics to it. And what we want to do is ensure that we're bringing to the forefront the best that they have to offer and realize the potential that each of these communities have. City Manager Mark McQueen says they have exciting plans in the works. In Millville, they plan to improve the safety and overall aesthetic around Highway 98. In Glenwood, they plan to create a shopping complex at 15th Street and MLK. And in St. Andrews, they plan to address the parking issues by the marina. This is an opportunity for our citizens to now look at it and say, yeah, that's what we want, or no, we still want to tweak it here, or we want to change this there, you know, those types of things. And so McQueen says he hopes these developments will increase business opportunities in this area and bring in more traffic from around the panhandle. Once the plans become finalized, the city will decide where the funding for these projects will come from. The city will be hosting four more of these open houses both tomorrow as well as Wednesday from 11 to 1 or 5 to 7. But remember, these plans are not yet final, so you can still have your voice heard before it is presented to the city commission in November. Reporting live in Panama City, Anna Hoffman, News 13, Panhandle Strong.